Well, good morning. It's November. Cars going by. <laughs> anyway, it's November, first week of November, and so that's Whale Fest. So I'm out here at Whale Park, Sitka. And uh, oh my gosh, look, it's running away from me. Gotta go chase it down. Watch it go over the side of the hill. But anyway, I'll walk along here and we, we got whales out in front here. <laughs> anyway, Whale Park. And I'm gonna walk from Whale Park down to the old mill site. So, here we are at the, at the Whale Park in Sitka. And then we've got the normal, can't do this, can't do that, can't do anything else sign. Um, right now I don't see any whales out there. Okay. Uh, we got a spyglass here. Maybe, maybe there's some houses, no, there's no houses over there. So you can't look into somebody's bedroom. It's been a while since I've been around here. It's kind of growed up. Trees are sure growed up. Uh, I got some more information on whales. Mostly humpbacks. I've seen gray whales. And I've seen minke whales. And I've seen killer whales. I had killer whales right underneath my skiff. Made me pretty nervous. Oh, and I rode, a, I rode over the back of a humpback whale one time in my skiff. It come up through the water and my skiff, you know, hit me like that. And my skiff raised up and just about sunk me. That was my Moby Dick whale experience. Not many people have had that happen. I've gone out there in the ocean too on a cloudy day and run into a nuclear submarine. That's kind of unusual too. Anyway, we're going to take go out here. We're going to walk the trail and look around at things. I see my walker didn't go too far. Check my brakes. We've had a lot of bad weather, but today's quite nice. We've had some very cold mornings, but today is very nice. No freezing, nothing slick. And uh, I'm not sure. I you know if I go that way on the bike trail, I can make it. I, I think I can go this way. Uh, yeah. Another one of these interpretive centers. Okay. I've seen one of them, one of them, one of them. I've seen one of those, seen one of those. Seen those, seen those. Seen the minky, seen the humpback. And they don't have a gray whale here, but we have them once in a while. Still don't see any, anything that looks like a whale out there today. I don't even see any birds. The birds were on top of the water chasing herring. That'd be a good sign that there's some whales around. Hmm. Oh well. And the famous humpback whale. That was a humpback whale that came up underneath my scaff and I literally slid off its back. I think I could have reached over the side of my scaff and touched his back as he went by. And he swam out in front of me a ways and turned, looked back at me, and his great big eye was looking at me. I think he was more shocked than I was that he hit me. Anyway, let's go on here and we'll... You see how... Look at that. Blue sky and gorgeous today. No snow in the mountains yet. Can you believe that? I've seen it snow in November here. Okay, well, I'll shut this off and we'll travel a ways and Turn it back on. <laughs> well, there's enough frost on the deck here. 
I can see people traveling ahead of me. I think one of them's got a dog. Well, we shall see. Some of them have walked back though. Follow the tracks. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been down here. We got another interpretive center. I came here one day when we had the uh, herring fishery and I filmed the herring fishery here in Silver Bay. Yeah, in the distance over there you can see Bear Mountain. Yeah, I haven't been here for a long time. I guess I can go out that way. I came in. I'm okay. Or go out the other way. Okay. Oh, there's something out here moving. Let's see what it is. Might just be a bird's. Ah. Let's see anything that looks like whales. Could be sea lions out there. I'll have to have a looky. Well, I haven't seen any. Yeah, it looks like a whale, or except birds out there. More likely to see something up here on Bear Mountain this morning. I'll keep watching. I haven't seen anything yet. <clears throat> yeah, we're back on the back on the bicycle trail along Silver Bay. There's Bear Mountain. Back up in there farther is Blue Lake and Beaver Lake. I don't think I'll ever be able to get to Beaver Lake again. That real, real good telephoto lands on this thing. I bet I see mountain goats up here this morning. Up on that mountain. Yeah, there's hardly a, hardly a cloud in the sky. Most of the interior peaks back there on Baranoff Island. Still a little snow here and there, and uh, there's a few of them around that have glaciers, but not many. Well, <laughs> it's not wilderness, <laughs> and uh, you won't be out here alone, but uh, you know, as far as the view is concerned, this would be a national park somewhere else. You have traffic. Got a few walkers, but no bike riders this morning. But uh, yeah, this is uh, pretty spectacular scenery. So we'll just keep plugging along. I like my fancy extension I made here. And on this big heavy camera, it's heavy. My arm's about ready to give out. I got give up here. Hang on. <laughs> the ocean out here in this bay is slicked out just like a just like a lake. I don't see a sign anywhere of anything other than a bird moving around. No whales, no sea lions, no nothing this morning. It's really flat calm. I was looking at all these dried flowers along here. I think they're pearly everlastings. All over the place. I've read the mineral reports of this area. There's some gold in some of the areas. Most of it those all tied up in quartz like this. Quartz veins. Hard rock gold. Some people have gotten some gold by panning, but not much. Most of this all still in the rocks. Looks like a couple of goats up there on Bear Mountain. I won't, whoops. I can't hold this camera, it's got such a wimpy, bad camera on a bad tripod. And the zoom ain't that good, but I think those are goats on Bear Mountain right there. We'll check them out when I get home. Pretty sure they are. If they're not, I won't put them on the video. Now 
And I thought I seen another one over here somewhere. And I don't see anything. Yeah, I thought I saw some goats over in this draw, but turned out it wasn't. Yep, yeah, not a thing. As yeah, so I come around the corner here, and can I can start to see Cross Mountain. Got its name because of the big snow cross. It's there uh, every summer. Of course, you can't see it in the winter, but in summer you can see it. It really looks like a cross from Sitka. It's kind of warped here, but when you're back at Sitka, the big white snow patch really looks like a cross. When I first came to town, up until about maybe 20, 25 years ago, a lot of people would come out here and they would cast from shore and uh, catch halibut right here. They stand down here on some of these big rocks. And a lot of nice halibut were taken here years ago. People just stand here and check out a piece of lead with a piece of herring and they caught a halibut. Well, you won't find much solitude, but my gosh, we'll find much of a prettier place to take a walk in. Up Silver Bay, there's hardly any wind blowing. Really quiet. Don't see a thing out on the water either. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I'll just keep plugging along here and uh, using my crazy boom here on my old camera. I'll shut it off here. One of our few eagles left. Not seeing very many bald eagle anymore. He didn't look like he's seen anything either. Oh, oh, oh gosh, he took a dump. Well, it's the only eagle I saw today. Might be the last one. I don't know what happened to them all. Yeah, we got some great long distance views here on this bike trail. I guess you call it a walking bike trail. Everybody uses the same trail. Well, we're almost to the old mill site. Why is it still? No wind at all. Yeah, years ago up on that slope right there. My car is going by, so I can't talk too much. But uh, there's a road right down there by the water. And we hiked up the road, up through those trees, right up in here, right up in there, and deer hunted. A lot of deer live up in there. Almost up here to the mill site. For a very short distance, we leave the road. You know, I don't think I've ever walked this before. <laughs> I'm walking it now, my walker. All the world has changed, at least for me. There's some kind of gate thing up here. Nope, just gonna keep me from going over the ledge, I guess. <clears throat> well, we're entering the old pulp mill site. I don't know if I mentioned earlier, I probably did, that I first came to Sitka, I had a very rich middle class. Everybody working here at the mill, 
they called it hell, but boy, did it bring them money. Yep, there's the noon whistle. What they do is they set off the tsunami <laughs> warning at noon. That way they can test it and let everybody know it's noon, lunchtime. There was a huge mill complex back here, but now it's a, oh, Fortress of the Bears back here, and there's some fish, fish places processing back in here. Not like it was. A lot of people made a lot of money here until it closed and population shrunk and well, sick, it became just like other West Coast towns. A handful of people get real rich and everybody else works for them. That's how it works, I guess. No use complaining about it, you can't change it. Yeah, we're quiet out here. Yeah, there's the old mill site, what's left of it. There's a few old buildings left, but there were a lot of big buildings here once. It was quite a, quite a sight to see, a big pulp mill. Ah, couldn't ask for a prettier place, so. Yeah, pretty nice. Clear down to the end of Silver Bay is uh, Salmon Lake area. It's kind of a neat area to go into. Need a boat to get to it though. All these areas that I'm showing and talking about here, I've got all kinds of video. Hunting, fishing, hiking video on my YouTube channel. So if you go there, you'll want to learn about Salmon Lake. <laughs> we got video going to Salmon Lake and fishing for cutthroat and stream. And uh, different areas where we went hunting. So, uh, awful lot of video now on my YouTube channel. I think there's, I think it's good, I think there might be over 380 of them now. I also have pictures and stuff that I've taken over the years and I've turned them into, uh, kind of like, uh, screensavers or what do you call them. Anyway, want to see a bunch of stuff. That's where it's at. Well, I'm going to start working my way back. Well, it might be November. Most years, these mountains have snow in them. But right now, it's about 50 degrees. Kind of crazy. But not really. We have weird weather here sometimes. I've seen it in the 60s in February. So, you know, anything can happen. Live in southeast Alaska. One thing you can be sure of, it's gonna rain here pretty quick. It always does. Everybody seems to appreciate it when I throw in a few close ups here of the fungi and other things. There's so much to look at. Person actually, if he had the time, to probably identify all kinds of neat stuff. I don't know what it is, but it's pretty. I'm having trouble <laughs> the last few days walking. Not too speedy today. Won't be none of those two to four miles in this thing. I'll be lucky to get back to the truck. People have asked me to keep making new videos besides all the old stuff I put on the YouTube channel and I'll probably I'll try the best I can but I've got some mobility troubles and my camera doesn't work very good. I don't know, I have to think about it. We have to look at other options as far as getting around. 
There's only so many places you can take a walker. And uh, there's lots of bike trails and stuff in Sitka. And I go long distance, seven, eight miles, you know, out different roads, Blue Lake Road, Green Lake Road, but I can't do it in a walker. So I don't know if I'll give up or this video stuff or see if I can't come up with some solutions anyway. Same with the camera business. <laughs> My camera is really old, 15 years. We're only shooting 720p. <laughs> cell phone. The cell phone shoots better video than that. Plus the sound ain't good. But today's alright, I think, because there's no wind. It's the wind that screws up the sound all the time on this old camera. Well, I can't hold it up much longer. I gotta stop here. Shut her off. Well, I've been looking and looking and it's just so flat calm out there. I don't see any whales. No sea lands. Only one measly eagle. Most of the eagles in our area up Indian River, they're gone. We see well, maybe see one one a day maybe. Used to have five or six in the tree behind my house. Now they're just gone. Anyway, I keep looking, but no whales. Yeah, every once in a while I gotta take a picture or shoot some ambience. Listen to the water pouring down off the rocks here. Yeah, if you look real close, you can see the all the where they ran the drills and the rock there. Yep. I don't know if they blasted it or just drilled and knocked it out of there. I redid this road a number of years ago. You know, walking down a trail for a mile through the woods doesn't seem very far, but boy, I'll tell you, a paved bike trail, when you can see the end in the distance, man, that's a long ways away. No wonder my feet and legs are hurting. Yeah, human beings really weren't made to be walking on concrete and asphalt. Never did like it. Even though this is a nice bike trail. Well, bike, you're not walking, but for a walking trail, it can be pretty tough, I think, on your feet. <sighs> Couldn't ask for a better day, though, out here. Like I said, if this was anywhere else, well... They just make it a national park along Silver Bay here. Well, well, I found me a sea lion. Yeah, working the edge here. Wonder if he's finding anything. Water's really clear now. Yeah, we're just working the shoreline. He's about a hundred feet off the shore here. Yeah, I think he went down. Well, by gosh, there's one guy out fishing. One guy out here, way over on the other side, fishing for winter kings, I guess. You know, lone fisherman. Well, still no whales, and it's whale fest. Boy, I tell you, he's... Price of fuel, I hope he gets enough fish just to pay a fuel bill anyway. Look for those winter king salmon. Tough way of life now. Well, I don't know if I should bring this up or not, but if you're interested, Google Google Silver Bay and Bear Mountain in Sitka and look for the geology report. Most people, you know, they think about well, earthquake, tsunami, this or that. 
but actually if you look up the greatest geological threats to Sitka they list number one is Bear Mountain that mountain right there that's an interesting report because I guess there's some bad spots on that mountain which may cause it to s slide you can see where it has slid once before towards the top but they're worried it could slide into Silver Bay and there would be a 400 foot tsunami wave coming out of this bay which is about 300 feet above my head right now people don't like to talk about it but you can still find it on the internet you can find the geolo geology report and the uh, threat to Sitka and the area out here should that mountain fail but anyway it's an interesting report you got the courage go find it Well, the wind's kicking up, the clouds are moving in. I'm really tired walking on this pavement. I gotta go another, looks like 200 yards before I get back to the boardwalk and the truck. Hope I make it. Phew, made it. <sighs> Made it, made it, made it to the trail here. I should say the bar little boardwalk here at Whale Park. Ah, happy trails to you. Da 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 da. Happy trails to you. Ah. My guess is it's gonna get real wet in a few days and the mountains are gonna fill up with snow. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little walk from Whale Park out to the old mill site. Gosh, I can't even remember what they call it now. Some kind of industrial park, I guess. Lots of stuff out there. So anyway, thanks for watching my videos. And, and uh... You must really be pretty bored when you got to listen to the ramblings of some old man. Just going on and on and on, but that's what we do when we get old. So, just in case that uh, this is the end of the video, which I think it is, uh, I'll catch you next time, whenever that is.